What's going on, people? It's the holiday season. It's your boy, Kuya P. I'm here with Heather. How are you, Heather? Hi. Not quite ready for the holidays. <laughs> we're ready for the holidays, although we're recording this not in the holidays, because uh, as we established during our regular show, we prefer to wait for Thanksgiving to be over before we talk about like Christmas movies. And uh, unfortunately, well, fortunately or unfortunately, I don't know. What I'm not sure what, what's the proper word here for right now. Uh, we got the chance to see uh, a holiday uh, favorite uh, with this new sequel. Uh, and as you'll see behind us, it's A Christmas Story Christmas. Uh, Heather and I got the opportunity to check it out in advance. We're going to tell you whether or not you may want to add this to your regular rotation every holiday season in just a second. But before we do that, uh, let's check out the trailer. Here we go right now. Christmas Story Christmas. Here we go. Oh, life moves fast. One day you're playing kick the can with kids named Flick and Schwartz. I triple dog dare you! And the next thing you know, you're a certified adult. Ralphie! Ralph, dear old man. Fragile. He was the best. Ralphie, promise me we're gonna make this a wonderful Christmas. That would make your father so happy. I promise. What had I done? And now it was all up to me? I suggest you start drinking and don't stop till New Year's. Hey kids, who wants to go see Santa? This is amazing, incredible. We will meet you right here when you're done. Don't let him kick you in the face. Huh? It's the half happy scene. Now, uh, now in. when it's just us decorating, it kind of feels like child labor. Honey, it's not labor if we don't pay you. Yeah. Cheers. There'll be much mistletoe. My dad made this all look so easy. Mm. That doesn't mean it was easy. Schwartz, I triple dog dare you. Oh, I got it now. Geronimo! That's brutal. It's the most wonderful. Slowly I could feel the Christmas ember beginning to glow again. There you go. That was the trailer for A Christmas Story Christmas. I'm Kuya P, and as you see on the screen, Heather Hurt. We're going to talk all about the story, the plot, the breakdown uh, behind the new film. Um, I'll talk a little bit about the characters, and then Heather and I will join together again to give you our review. So I'm tossing over the candle, the, uh, uh, what is it? The, not the candle. Well, I was trying to think star, of something it's holiday, holiday seasonal to, to, to pass it to you. But I will just pass over the peppermint stick. There we go. That's what I was looking for. The peppermint stick is to you, Heather. <laughs> Break it down. Okay. Um, to be quite honest, there wasn't much plot to really talk about. This is a rehash of a classic story. Um, what we know is that uh, Ralphie is now an adult in the 1970s, got all those great greens and browns going on. Um, it's in the 1970s. He is a uh, aspiring science fiction writer. He is married and has two children. Um, and it's it's right before Christmas and his parents are due to come and see them in the big city. Uh, the problem is, is that apparently his father, who is, you know, he, he was the it man of Christmas. Uh, Mr. Parker has passed away, unfortunately, just before Christmas, just before the holidays. And it's the most important holiday for them of the year. Uh, so they have to rush back to, I believe it's Indiana. I can always forget. It's, it's one of the I states. I think it's Indiana. Um, go extra Southern when I say that. Indiana. I don't think I can do that in a Northern accent. Um, and they find themselves back at the old house uh, and they meet up with some old friends, some, uh, some family, and go into the classic Christmas story shenanigans that are technically what made Christmas story a classic. Um, Christmas shop, her present shopping, seeing Santa, um, sledding, all of those fun things. And that brings us kind of the entirety of the plot without getting too spoilery. So 
All right, there we go. A Christmas story, Christmas. Um, make sure your Red Rider shotguns or Red Rider it, rifles are put away uh, because right now I'm not going to shoot your eye out, but I will give you the cast. So uh, in this cast, we have Peter Billingsley as our Ralph Parker. Um, yes, the young man has grown up and yeah, he's uh, not too bad looking. You know, he's he's what I thought he would look like. And uh, our, our man's back. He still has a nice charm to him. He does carry the film. I'll give him that. But I'll save that for uh, the review. Uh, Sandy Parker, uh, the wife of Ralphie, is played by Aaron Hayes. Brand new character because obviously it was a little young man back in the day. So we have the new wife character. Um Playing Mark and Julie, the daughters of the Parkers, are River Drosh and Juliana Lane. Uh, the mom uh, for Ralphie uh, is a new actor uh, playing the part of the, the mom of Mrs. Parker, and that's played by Julie Haggerty. Um, Flick, Flick is back. I'm sure you've all seen Flick on the convention show circuit like I have because a lot of these cast members do uh, travel the con circuit. Scott Schwartz is back as Flick. Um, we also have uh, Schwartz, uh, played by R.D. Robb, back as well. Um, if I'm not mistaken, this is he is the same. Yep, he is yeah, the he, same. He's Schwartz. the same character. Yep, yep. Okay, I was about to say the two friends are I, I recognize Scott more oh, than R.D. Robb. Them are. <laughs> um, we have uh, the publisher, played by Ian Porter, Pulitzer MC Sam Parks, Delbert Bumpus Davis Murphy. I'm trying to. I'm also trying to look at this cast and see if there's anybody from the original that I recognize uh, that they brought back. There, there's um, one final one at the bottom of that list. Okay, I'm trying to search him out. Wh who am I missing there uh, that I'm not finding or not seeing? Zach Ward. We won't tell you what kind of role he's playing, but we do get Farkas back. We do get Farkas. Oh yeah, that's right. Um. Okay. Yeah. There. Yeah. Okay. All right, I'm not going to spoil, as, as Heather said. We, we're not going to give you any spoilers. But there's the cast. Uh, for the most part, um, the OGs, or at least the, the 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 kids that we could relate to, if you will, at least for me, uh, Ralphie, Schwartz, um, or, I mean, Flick. Yeah, Flick and Schwartz. Uh, those we recognize, they are back. And then a particular character that um, I'm thankful that Heather pointed out uh, is back as well, because that was somewhat of a surprise. Towards the ending of the film. Um, I really wouldn't say it was a surprise. His The role that he plays, I think, is the surprising part. To yeah. Do. Oh, yeah. 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 Well, uh, we can talk on that. We can talk <laughs> on that. I don't know. Um, because it makes sense if you think about just how life and reality is, if you will. Oh, yeah. No. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. No, I can... <laughs> from, from a IRL perspective, it's exactly how it goes. Right? That's that's what I just thought about. Yeah, okay. So there you go. There's the cast. Um, Christmas story. Uh, let let's start on that sense before we get into our full review. Um, I, I think we discussed it a little bit when we uh talked during our regular weekly show. Um, was this uh on your radar before, or were you a fan? Was this a holiday favorite in uh your household? Um, Heather, I don't think it was for you. I, I'm not going to say every. Jew, it doesn't matter if you're Jewish, Muslim, or any any other religion. You're always going to have your favorite Christmas movies. But I was not a traditionally like Christmas movie person, as my household was not Christian. Um, with that being said, I actually never watched a Christmas story until I moved until I moved in with my um, husband. Uh, he his family they are Christmas story first thing in the morning every Christmas kind of people. Um, I can't say. I'm on that 50-50 that line of it's a fun, goofy movie. It's also not stood up to time at all. I hear that. I hear that. And I, I think, you know, uh, again, it, no matter your denomination, I think because we live here in America, it just is like a part of us. So it's like, you know, we, we, we have no help uh, but to see it because that's all that they will run, you know, uh, Christians run everything essentially in a way, although they want to say that, you know, there's other religions that run all media. Uh, a lot of it is uh, kind of overtaken. Um, look, what, look up what the Mormons actually control, my friends. Let's say look that. Up. There we go. Or, or uh, what's that other 
a crazy or uh, relation uh religious organization that's over there in uh, LA. I, I for, I'm forgetting it at the moment. Oh, t- there, there's a certain celebrity that likes to lead lead in there. I think we might get sued if we bring them up, though. Yeah, I don't want to, <laughs> but you know, um, but shout out to her, right? We're, are we talking the same one? If I'm thinking the same thing, the theme, the 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 Leah Remini. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. We're thinking the same thing. Anyway, but um, down with all religions. Anyway, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> uh, at least ones that you know i just don't like how to me religions how most things happen and fights are involved but anyway um christmas <laughs> let me we don't get on our soapbox so around here and wh- yeah, why I am i can't, doing yeah, that i Evan? can't get on a religious soapbox it's why am i doing that i don't know uh, we because we don't do that but anyway no, i've never done that one. we're talking christmas because it's everywhere it, it, it's it's the end of the year, so that's what we see. Um, Christmas Story was never my favorite Christmas movie. Um, it was okay, you know. Um, I'm more of a Christmas Vacation National Lampoon guy. There's my know. husband, yeah. Big that's my husband. fave of all time. If I have to watch one, that's the one I'm di- into. Um, so, but Christmas Story was okay, you know. Um, it has its moments. Um, and so, uh, with that being said, I hearing that they're making this other one kind of. I was like, oh, really? Interesting. Um, cool. Um, let's see what they do. Um, original cast, I'm a little bit more intrigued. Uh, it'll be cool to kind of see them where they are then and now. And uh, so leading into this one, for me, um, I guess I'll kick us off into this particular one. Um, had the same beats and everything. Um, not bad, but not great. It was a a, a cool kind of, to me, uh, more of a television, reminded me of like a television movie where um you know they're not going to do a lot it didn't have like a huge budget but we'll bring you back some of the cast that you remember give you certain moments that you remember but they're not going to kind of be like super over the top with everything and so to me it was a decent film i i will say i enjoyed it um it didn't you know knock my pants off they didn't do anything different with, with it which would to me make it make it might have made it a little bit better to just let's kind of take some of these uh Things we know make something truly special now, uh, but it seemed like they just wanted to sit in the pop- pocket and just give you nostalgia moments. So for me, um, it was it was entertaining enough, uh, but not over the board, you know, knock my socks off. Um, I don't know if I'm going to add it to my replay list, but I'm sure now that it's here, um, they're, they're, it's a good book. And, you know, you can run the first one and this one uh, back to back and uh, have like a nice little uh, entertainment window, uh, for, especially for those channels. I forgot what channels that do Christmas movies through the entire month. Uh, they, they got a good four hours here, I guess, or, or three hours. I think, I think it's AMC that runs Christmas, yeah. Christmas story all day from 1201 oh, so to 1159. <laughs> yeah. But there you go. That was my vibes, uh, for this. How about you, Heather? Um, I'm, I'm a little less on the, it was okay. Uh, point I did bring my husband in once again it's Christmas story was not one of those movies I was brought up with so I brought someone who genuinely enjoys the film a little bit more into the viewing with me um and him and I were both kind of on the same page it's this movie just it it swam in nostalgia and it didn't do much else um I would have much preferred to see a movie as you said that that took some nostalgia and gave us a story and that's not what we got we got a whole bunch of the exact same. And if, if you see all of this conversation around a Christmas story, usually it's basically on the fence. You either love it or you just don't care for it at all. Um, so what Christmas story accidentally stumbled onto that made them a cult classic, a cult Christmas classic, you can't you can't recreate that. That's not something that you accidentally stumble on twice. You need to do your own thing. So um, I, I, one, I think it's weird that this came out in November for a Christmas movie that is specifically watched on Christmas. This seems very weird to come out over a month early. Um, But I honestly do not think that my husband and I will, the only reason we would turn this back on is if the family was like, Hey, we want to see it because it's new and like at Christmas. I, I can't disagree with those points. To, um, I, I think, yeah, it's not I'm, anything I'm going to seek out. But if it's like playing, you know, on cable television or, you know, like they like that one channel, like you said, plays a Christmas story all at the same time. They're definitely going to add that this to the rotation. They have to. It, it, it bookends uh, with that other one, you know, uh, 
uh, very much, you know, because it's so nostalgic that it just bookends well to it. But like you're, but you're one hundred percent right, uh, Heather. From I would say, yeah, and and all the other points as well. Well, I agree with all the points. It's just that, yeah, they didn't add anything extra to it, which is kind of sad, and it almost to, to its detriment that they just wanted to keep the same beats, if mm-hmm. you will, right? Like there's certain moments that they just, oh, well, we we did the tree thing, we got to do the tree thing again, you know. We had to do certain the bully. Uh, aspect of it we have to have bully aspects with it of it that we have to have them the moment in the uh, department store again we have to have the talking to the sound you know a lot of certain beats they just didn't do anything fresh uh and then stuff that we remember with ralphie talking to himself uh showing you know his thoughts they had to have that that's again all retread material that they could have maybe freshened freshened it up a little bit maybe showed a, some maturity in him uh, to a degree, still having, you know, you can still be very, uh, have young idealistic thoughts uh, uh, about the way, but then there could be some freshness in there. I don't know if you will, to kind of even make it even more bigger, maybe in a sense. But also, uh, as I was, as I'm shouting all this out, this also is a period film. Let, let's also add to that as well. Even though we're seeing the years progression, uh, it's not like fr- from the time this film came out to now, it's because uh, the original film was actually set, even though it came out in the 80s, it was like set in the 40s, if I'm not mistaken. 50s. It was 50s, right, Heather? And then so now this film is actually set in the 70s, if, I, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so, I believe it's something like 30 years would go by. So yeah. we're considering that most of the people who are watching this are in their 30s and 40s. So we are, quote unquote, growing up with Ralphie. So. Yeah. So that that also might have made it difficult, but I don't know this. Uh, so because I'm trying to explain, think of that as, as in regards to story and the character of Ralphie. I will say, uh, going back to as I said earlier, Ralph Billingsley. I think he's still not that bad. He's a good actor, you know. Charisma maybe not all the way there as he was when he was a kid, but I think he still carried the film. Um, but I just think he he would have better been supported with a better script. Um, sure. I think and everybody was, else did their parts for the most part, though. Th- there were also aspects of it. You saw there were definitely not to just completely hate on this movie. There were definitely moments that showed real promise. Like yeah. going back to that mall scene. I don't know. I still think that that mall, that mall sequence was probably some of the best in the film. It was goofy. It was silly. It had a nostalgic reference to it, but it wasn't the exact same. It was growth. It was progression within storytelling, but then you would go back and then you would see the exact same thing that was literally just replicated. So you had these weird moments where you could see a good movie happening and then they just fall flat. Yeah. You know what? I just started thinking because uh, because I'm looking at your uh, background picture right now. Um, I would have liked to maybe have seen. Uh, Tim, would, would, I'm, I'm trying to think what would made made this film better for me. If uh, maybe we would have saw some hints of like uh, how the if if the love story between the wife, you know, them going back to you're asking your wife to go back to her old home. You know, she's not exactly fond going back there um, because she was such she had such great character moments. Uh, like you were saying in the mall and certain other parts of the film that um, I would have liked maybe showing like a bond uh, and an update and just showing relationships, you know, as a, as you and I are both in a a relationship, maybe that would have been better. Cause to me, re- Christmas is about relationships and, and, and being there for the children, especially without spoilers, there's a certain event that happens that as parents, you come together to, to take care of your family. Mm-hmm. So um, I would have liked a better I think if she had more moments and, and we can m- maybe have built into that because they are going to take care of uh, their mother in the death of their father, of his father, you know, that could also add to that bond. But I think if they would have uh, maybe focused on the relationship between Ralphie and his wife, made that more of a centerpiece, talk about this, the tale of their love and then have these added moments uh, would have made uh, the film a lot better for me if I'm just trying to think of uh, a way to make uh, the film better. Um, but overall it was an okay, it could have been better. It could have been great or, or at least better. Not I, great. Think, I think, I, I think better. better. The problem with sequels like this is it will never be quote unquote as great as the original. It is what it yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. Um, if you're looking for something fun, um, it, it's a good family movie. It's a cute family movie that you can definitely sit your kids in front of and let them eat popcorn while you're wrapping presents. Like that's absolutely something that could do. You can do. So. Um, before we get up out here, so so uh, kind of okay, blase for you. 
in the middle for me. Um, I, what did you think about Flick and just seeing some of the people come back? And if, a, yeah. See, it's it's always fun to see originals. Um, we actually missed one more original, but we'll let people find them. Okay. Um, uh, it, it was nice seeing some classic faces. Um, it was. What did you, you think know, of Ralphie? I, I don't know if I asked you what you thought about Ralphie. Uh, did you like him like, back? Did he I, have I, I liked, to hold it? I, I'm glad that he came back. Apparently, Ralphie is a uh, is nice and muscular. I didn't know that that would be a thing. Um, but it's one of the <laughs> it's one of those where I this movie shouldn't have been held up by one person. There was no need to do that. He was holding the he was holding the theatrics a little bit too heavy on his shoulders, and you could tell in the show in the film. Um, I wish I could be more positive. Uh, I will say of all of the, it's be a slight spoiler, but I'm not going to say where, I'm not going to say when, um, of all of the cameos or return faces, one of the hardest things, especially after our loss in the Batman Batman world this past week, hearing Adam West's voice again when it did happen, I was in tears. Like, I was like, crap, I'm crying again because Batman. <laughs> I feel that. <laughs> I feel that. So, uh, so, so for you, is it a recommendation or is it a no go? What, what, what would you say for you, Heather? If you like a Christmas story, I actually would tell you not to watch it because you might it might actually not be your thing at all. You you might actually be kind of mad at it. If you just want a goofy movie to put the kids in front of, this can be it. Oh, so you think people would though who like the first one wouldn't won't like this one? I, and the reason I say that is because of my husband. I mean, it's, he's, it's not Christmas story. Isn't his favorite movie at all, but it's one of those where it's his family loves it enough to put it on every year. Um, and he was just like, I'll never watch this again. Really? Cause it, it messes up their thoughts and feelings of the it's original. Same, it didn't have the same feeling. It didn't have the same. Wow. It, well, it's, it's one of those words. It had too much of the same. He's like, I mm. can just watch a Christmas story. Get the same thing. So interesting. I think, yeah, if, if you enjoy the first, you'll enjoy this one. It doesn't take to me. It doesn't take away anything at all. It's just another chapter, if you will, um, because it again was so note for note for me and beats wise that it just continued on. They're just it's a different generation. It's another chapter in the book. Um, so I would recommend it for me uh, to those folks. Uh, but for overall Christmas fans. Yeah, it's it's another Christmas film, but it doesn't it's not going to give you anything new if you will. Um, it, it's another just holiday film. And if you're a holiday fan, uh, yeah, it, it's, it, yeah, to me, it, it played like a TV movie. I wouldn't be going to the theater to see this. Um, it, it, but if it's uh, streaming on TV uh, or streaming, you know, cause we're, we're old people. We don't have cable it's, anymore. It's, it's, I don't know where you pulled that one out earlier. <laughs> uh, if it's playing, then, then uh, yeah, I'm checking it out. Cause it plays very much like a, a holiday um Christmas film. So uh there you go. They they did all the notes. But um yeah, wish we could be gushing about it more, but hey, uh again, uh I wasn't a big Christmas story fan, but you know, it was okay. To me, this is again more of the same. Um, but Christmas vacation, if y'all pull out a, a part two, well, they did do some sequels to it. Well, no, I don't think is, I ever wait, saw the ironic really, thing about this, honest. and I'm going I'm going to say this. This will be my final statement. Yeah. This film felt like a Christmas story meets a Christmas vacation because they were trying to get enough plot points out of both. Interesting. Yeah. Trying to squeeze more out the lemon to make more juice. Juice they want more bad bad analogy. That's I we can we it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Heather. Uh how can the people reach out to you if they want to talk all things a Christmas story or a Christmas story Christmas? And or send you a red rider BB gun. Oh, I mean, I'll take the I'll take the BB gun. But um, where where you should go if you don't want to talk about Christmas movies yet, you can message, you can DM me or talk to me on Twitter at Nerd is a Heather or on TikTok and Instagram at Heather is a Nerd. All right, and for me, it's the Legend Kuya P on Twitter, TikTok, and IG. Maybe not Twitter for long, so head over to uh, Mastodon because uh, that's where most of us are heading. Because fuck Elon Musk. Um, hit me over there on a. Uh, uh, Mastodon.social and uh, Tambian.us. There's a lot of servers, but I'll be the legend QUP on any of those Mastodon stuff. And if you have one, let me know and I'll come over to your Mastodon because F Elon Musk. Um, 
And that's it. It's at the NRW and at the release Wednesday where nerds rule the world. Love you, Heather. It's your boy, Cooey P. Till next time, y'all. Happy holidays. Oh, my God.